Hi, my name's Thomas Cockerell. I'm Jeremy Sumter, and we're from The Fall. And you're watching Celeb Secrets. Secrets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, oh, yeah, I'm pumped. Very excited. I mean, world premiere, too. Yeah. So This is my first time in Mammoth, period, anyway. But um, to come up here for the first time for this is great. I love it. You know, I grew up in Kentucky. We had some snow here and there. I'm, you know, I just had two feet of snow in Nashville a couple months ago. and But this is a lot. This is, this is more snow than I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, we're feeling lucky to be here. I know a lot of people haven't been able to make it up because they've closed the mountain down. Yeah. And I'm lucky to make it up because we got in a car crash on Thursday driving up. So yeah. that was, um, we rode off a car, which was pretty Jordan nuts. Yeah, I was, in the, I was in the back seat, but yeah, it was pretty scary. Anyway, we're oh. feeling very lucky and privileged to be here. I'm very excited to share the film with everyone. Is a, what would we say, a love square? Uh, I mean, that's, <laughs> yeah, I think it's a, it's, a, it's a coming of age yeah. healing story about uh, a girl who, is having to come to terms with her past, um, dealing with family grief, and coming to terms with her past to be able to move Lost. forward and become the person she wants to be. And um, and what, you know, and he. But then when it comes to us, I yeah. mean, we're just here and, to. And, 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 and you know, and he's and then he's dealing with that. You know what I mean? I feel you feel bad for this guy, you know, because he really likes this girl, and then um, but she just, you know, we we, she's, we she's both hard. play various love interests, the lead yeah. girl, in, and we we represent different parts of. Yeah, and there's no one that can tame her, but she can't even tame herself. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm, I'm this new guy that she meets, right? So I, I think I represent uh, hope and what, what what could be if she deals and overcomes with uh, some decisions she's made and, and some of the uh, wrongdoing she's maybe gone through. Um, and Jeremy? And uh, I play Travis Humphries. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm actually her ex, was it her ex-fiance? I was her ex fiance. Yeah. yeah, I think I was her ex fiance. Yeah, no. You represent a very toxic yeah. relationship. Yeah, we had a very. Here's the thing. I'm Mike. I I, I You're live the in opposite this, to yeah. me. <laughs> yeah, I live in this small town. I live there, but then I got the I got the hell out of there, you know. And I went and made big things for myself. But then I bring my new fiance, uh, Cassie, up to you know, we end up buying a house uh, two doors down from her, and she hates it. And then, you know, it, and it just kind of you know builds from there. And we tap into our old our past, and and then um, you know, and say our goodbyes in a sense. Love, loss, and healing. Overcoming your past. I mean, there what do you? you <laughs> there you go. I have a very wonderful memory. Um, I, sorry, I would throw parties at my house every night when we were filming this thing, you know, for everybody in the crew and stuff, and we'd all party and stuff. And, um, you know, Tom, when he, you know, he's, he's, he's a handful when he, you know, when he gets drunk and stuff. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, you remember he Glad came out there, happens. he came run out there and he had his underwear and he gets up on the counter and, and, uh, we all start throwing dollars up at him and stuff and he's taking mm. back and then he jumps and does his splits and, uh, split his underwear wide open. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was Good a great, times. it was a Good great, times. great time. Uh, yeah, mine are more wholesome memories of being on oh. set and being able to work with such a talented cast and crew oh, and create, on. you know, a work of art that means something that we're happy to offer to the world. Yeah. Quite different, yeah. yeah. We're two different souls. <laughs> <laughs> Um, know that you're not that no matter what you're going through in life that um, you know you're not alone and uh, and even though we're actors playing this stuff we're gonna be, we, we go through the same stuff you know and and what, what you're gonna see in this is how we as actors relate to the characters that we play exactly it's a relatable story and I think uh, it covers a lot of different bases in terms of relationships to different loved ones but also yeah. to your family um, and you know, I, I think everyone can watch this film and relate to something in yeah. the story and, and, and with, take something from it. And with loss, there comes great strength, even though, you know, at the time, you don't, people don't realize during that loss, you know, that that's what it's going to be. But at the end, you know, you become stronger for it. Yeah. I play rugby with I play rugby with a bunch of kids and and yeah. knock them all out, which is pretty good. No, I, yeah, I think you beat the of the guys at the bar. Oh the, yeah, the, that's the I have a sick fight scene actually. Yeah, yeah that, that's, that's pretty cool. I want, yeah, I want to see it for sure. Yeah, we we had a. Well, it, was, it was shot in the real uh, yeah. town that our writer Lock director Sean Hart uh, grew up in, and and uh, yeah. so it's a you very personal the, story in that sense. Do you remember sense. the Lock and Cheetah landslide? 
that you know that's the community that's we town. filmed in, and so, uh, unfortunately those houses are yeah. still buried there. And um, but the family, the, the community there is, I mean, it's, it's like a, it's a very very tight knit group of people. Yeah. And uh, to be part of that community and be there to film a story based on one of the people who lived there is, you know, is awesome.